there is a need to allow public comments at Board of Supervisor meetings and to limit the time used to present remarks to allow for others to speak. Also, therefore it be resolved that the Tama County Board of Supervisors approve the public comment policy. Notice to the public, the Board of Supervisors welcomes comments from the public during the public comments time at the beginning of the meeting. You are requested to approach the microphone if available, state your name for the record, and limit the time used to present your remarks in order that others may be given the opportunity to speak. You are allowed to record, tape, and photograph any open session. Okay, so this one actually, this, this is what we've been doing anyway. I mean, it's important to put it down on paper. And one of the things that's changed is we used to call it a work session. It really wasn't the correct definition. So now this is a public comment session. Pretty good, Eric. I don't think it's controversial at all. Can you please clarify if you will be keeping minutes of those? Uh, no, of the public please. comment session. So no minutes will be compiled of the public comment session? Did you now? And will you keep? No, you do not. It's your notes. Correct. But those will be, will those be published on your website? I don't believe the full length of them will be published. Okay, why not? Yeah. Um, it's just that I was told that according to Carlton that we just do a synopsis and that if you want the full um, notes of what I've taken, you can request them, but we don't have to publish the full um, comments. So Carlton Sammons, the attorney representing the Heartland Insurance I Risk Pool. That's what said. It was not said to me. That's just what I was told that Carlton okay. provided to us. Okay. So we just want to make it clear that before you review this resolution, are you recording minutes at the public comment sessions consistently each week? I would call them minutes. This is, this is the secretary's notes. But again, are those, are those, are, is the information that's being compiled being made available on the county's website for the public to review? It's not on the county's website for review, but you can contact us and we can get them to you. Okay, that's illegal under the Iowa Open Meetings Law because the three of you together constitute a public meeting. It is a public meeting, but we do not have to put the handwritten uh, minutes out there unless requested, and we don't because of the cost. We're because not remember, we have to pay for the paper. Remember, everything that goes in the paper we pay, and I don't know if you guys have had an ad lately, but it's not cheap. And we're not talking about that. We're talking about are you keeping minutes and a record yes. of the public comments, and are those being published on the website? And again, there's no cost to you to publish those minutes in full on the county's website. No, we do not have to put the minutes from a public meeting on the website. We publish, we put our regular agenda meeting minutes on there. You can look at those at any time you want. We keep those on file. So anyone can have them. Are they put on the website right now? No. Why not? We have never put them on the website. If you want, absolutely it can change, but Laura's not here and I can't speak for her. Again, we are asking you to comply with the Iowa Open Meetings Law. And when the three of you are meeting together at one time and deliberating, whether you take action or not, that constitutes a public meeting. And that constitutes the need to have minutes recorded of those public work sessions. We understand that you've changed the terminology to call what used to be the work session the public comment section. And that actually followed, followed our complaint to the Iowa Freedom of Information Board for your violations of the Iowa Open Meetings Law. So I know you haven't shared that publicly, but we did file on behalf of the public to hold you accountable for upholding the Iowa Open Meetings Law. So, so what we're asking, well, thank you, Larry, for acknowledging that. And the reason we did that is we think it's important for there to be a written record of when you guys get together and when the public is meeting with you. So what we're asking, will you take minutes of those public sessions and will those be available to the public on your website? I, Laura's not here, so I don't know whether she'll put those on there or not. And we understand. We are not required to put those on there. 
We understand you're not required. Right. There's yeah, we, a legal we, we notice to okay. require in a newspaper, but we've but. you've heard people here say for weeks, not everybody subscribes to a newspaper or gets the legal papers of record, which is why, that. again, if cost is a consideration and you're worried about the cost of a ream of paper at $5, Put it on your website and then people can access those minutes. Okay, so just so, so everyone knows, we are redoing, we're getting our new website and we will be able to do all that pretty quickly. So, but you could we have post, never done it before and yeah. I'm, I can't speak for Laura. Yeah, you could post your minutes right now. And again, we want to make sure the minutes are being recorded of they the are. full time from when you start to meet at 8 30 until when the meeting adjourns and that those minutes are published on the website in full. We understand that you put a shorter truncated version in the notice of record in the legal newspapers of record because of cost. Mm -hmm. But what we're asking as citizens is that you publish the full version online on your website, which is at not a cost factor, not a length factor. Again, I cannot speak for Laura, so she will be back. So meanwhile, I would move to approve resolution 06-20-22B. I'll second that. Okay, roll call vote. Okay. Aye. Bill? Aye. Dan? Aye. Resolution passed and approved this 20th day of June 2022. Dan Anderson, Chairman, Board of Supervisors, Karen Woods, Assistant to the County Auditor. And Larry, you indicated earlier you'd speak to the why that's necessary and what you hope to accomplish with that resolution. Yeah, Tell the public I, what I you think. I did speak to it. First of all, I didn't think that the terminology was correct. It wasn't a work session, it's a public comment session. That You've just basically. changed that recently. Yeah, this is official today. Else well, we asked you earlier, did you guys write that public comment resolution? Did your attorney write it? Who wrote it? And what's I the impetus for it? it? Pardon me? I believe our attorney did. Okay. And, and again, why? Just to clarify that, that it is not a word <coughs> public comment session. So it's more a change in the terminology yeah. that what used to be a work session that was not on public record is now on public record as part of a public meeting with minutes recorded as part of the public meeting starting at 8.30 each Monday morning or each time you meet, correct? Uh, tell you what, I'll give you a copy of this when we're done so you have the whole. We'd yeah. love to see it now that you've approved it. Well, then we'll be happy to do it. And when does it go into effect? Big guy there signs it. Okay. But plane's done. Judy, how are you? Good. And Judy. Yeah. And Judy, how are you? I'm good also. Well, nice to meet you. So, is there anything that we need to remain in session to accommodate the renewal?